Hi, my name is Dex and today we'll be looking into how we can change manage multi-currency and auto account. So let's say we have a supplier that we deal in US dollar. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have created the currency in the system. So we need to come here, general maintenance. We need to come here to currency maintenance and then we just press new. Let's put here US dollar, US dollar and here we put United States. Alright, so what happens is that's it now we just put the basic standard rate is 4.1 and here we will need to link it to the gain and loss account. So let's say we say gain here and then this is the loss. Right, and then of course we are journal type, you normally will put this as general journal. Once we're done, we just press OK and we have created the multi currency. So next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that your supplier is in US dollar. So we need to come here to AP. Let's say we do creditor maintenance. Then here we set new. Then let's say we create a US dollar supplier. So we put here, example, company A US dollar. Okay. So here we can see there's a currency here. We need to change this to US dollar. Okay. So once we're done, we just press save. All right. So we will cut the step short. We will straight away go into supplier invoice. So let's say we go into here, go to purchase invoice. So then we will create one. We will select our US dollar here, company A US dollar. And then we we'll just create as per normal. So let's say we select any item from the list. So mechanical pencil and we said we want to buy 100 pencils from that. So straight away you can see here, the US dollar is $73 and based on the exchange rate is 4.1 and the system will give you what is the local value. So let's say example, we want to change it to 4.2, the system will automatically calculate what is the local denomination. So once we're done, we just press save. Alright, so we skip this part. And we're done. Alright, so now let's say for example, your supplier wants, you want to pay your supplier right now. So we can come here to AP, we can come to AP payment. And then let's press new. Alright, so of course, when you make payment to the particular supplier, the exchange rate can be different from the transaction exchange rate. So here you can see there is another exchange rate here. So let's say for example, now we want to put the exchange rate as 3.233, all right? All right, then of course we can select here which payment method you want to come up from, say CIMB bank, and we can put an IBG number and this is how much we are going to pay. So the US dollar denomination will be key in here, 129.03, and we knock off here. Okay, so once we're done, we just press save. The system will automatically calculate whether there's a gain and loss. So for this example, we have a loss of $17, all right? So then once we're done, we press OK. The system automatically posts the loss on Forex, all right? So this is actually how we can actually manage multi-currency in auto account. So do like and subscribe in uh, YouTube so that we will notify you when we release a new guide. Thanks.